Hey, 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 Friendship Gram Committee. All right. Um, I thought this might be just a little bit easier since it's very difficult to have free time in our schedules right now with all of the rescheduling of everything um, that I've had to do. It's taken me over a day to get all that rescheduled from the time that we missed. So I thought I would just do this. It would be faster. And then we can talk about do we want to move forward with it? And also, if so, um, what questions do you have? Because this is quite the undertaking. I'm not going to kid you, okay? Um, years ago, Allison Reagan and Karen Williams organized all of this for me, and they invited parents of, like, some of our teachers and some of our kids to come in and help with this, but let me first say that friendship grams is not the same thing as boo bags. Boo bags were bags that were made for each kid and you put the candy inside the bags and every kid got a bag of candy. A friendship gram is a little different. It's a note from a friend attached to a piece of candy. And so the kids pay 25 cents and they come in in the morning. The booth is set up like right in front of the shout out boards in the morning. I think that Karen and Allison had two desks out there and they had like um, all of the there is a clipboard in the front office that has all of the kids' names and what homeroom they're in so that as children walked up and they wanted to send a friendship gram to someone if they didn't know the teacher's class, then the... Uh, then the teacher who was helping sell the friendship grams could look it up. Uh, one issue that we had was that a lot of students don't know their friends' last names. So we can also get a class roster for every single one of the classes. So you could then turn around and ask the student, okay, you don't know their last name, but you do know that Christy is in your class, right? And then you could just look in that classroom to find what their last name is. So, it is a fun note. I'm going to read off my notes. It's a fun note that can be sent to friends with a treat attached. Friendship grams can be sent to student to student, student to teachers or staff members, and teachers and staff members to students or each other. So, anybody can buy a friendship gram for anybody inside the building. Um, friendship grams can only be purchased and delivered at John Coleman Elementary, and they are fun to send, fun to get, and fun to eat. So, we have a form. It's like a half slip right here that is already made. It needs to be tweaked with our dates um, where we send it home and let the parents know what this is and what the sale is. But here's the caveat. JCE needs your help to make this a fun treat for our friends at John Coleman. Please donate a bag of individually wrapped nut-free candy, no lollipops. We ask that all candy be sent into the school by February 5th. A few ideas, Skittles, Hershey Kisses, Nerds, Sweet Tarts, Jolly Ranchers, Airheads, Tootsie Rolls, Laffy Taffy, Runts, Starbursts, and Smarties. So we ask our families to send in the candy so that we don't have to purchase the candy and that way all of the candy gets sent in and we just make the little hearts. Um, so somebody on the committee needs to do the little die cut of the hearts and then we write who it's to, their message for them and who it's from and you just attach it. Now at uh, I don't know if we've done this here at John Coleman or if we did it at another school that I was at, but we had um, big grocery sacks that are the brown paper bags or just regular brown paper bags that are larger than a sack lunch size. And we wrote the teacher's name on it. So you might write Mills K for kindergarten. And then when a student comes and they purchase a candy gram, you just drop it right in the bag already. After you attach it, you drop it in the bag. And that way there is no stuffing of any bags. You do it as you go. So um, that's why it's important to have more than one person there at a time. Okay, so that um, is ready to go. And we also have that in um, Spanish as well. I do not have that in Arabic, okay? Um, this is the Friendship Gram. Let me look at this real quick. Okay. If your child would like to send Friendship Grams this week, please complete the information below and return to JCE in an envelope or a baggie labeled Friendship Grams. 
because there are some children who will be too shy to come and do it so their parents can fill it out for them and then we can transfer everything. Um, this one says to purchase grams for your child's entire class for $8, simply write entire class in the two column and the teacher's name in the classroom column and be sure to include payment for your child's grams. They accept cash, exact change only, please. Um, and that is what we have if they want to send it to the whole class. Okay. We also have that in Spanish. Okay. Now, how to help your child order friendship grams. We have a little letter. Please help the friendship gram volunteers send your child by following these instructions. Help your child make a list of names in which to send friendship grams. If a gram is going to a student or friend, include the first and last name of the student if possible, as well as the name of the friend's teacher. If the gram is going to a teacher or staff member, simply list that person's name. Put the list and money in an envelope or baggie label with your child's name, teacher, and friendship grams. A new list will be necessary for each day your child wants to send grams. Also, please note that friendship grams will be delivered on the same day you send in your child's list and money. Now, that will be different because we're only going to deliver them on Valentine's Day, so we would need to adjust this document. Parents, this is a great opportunity to buy grams for the whole class. If you want to do so, send $8 in the envelope marked Friendship Grams entire class on the order form. They are only delivered to JCE. It says the days that they will be sold and all Friendship Grams must be paid in cash. Exact change only, please. So there's a little bit of shifting that we have to do right there. Okay, so that's the gist of what friendship grams are. So really things to consider are who is able to be here and set up for the students to purchase the friendship grams in the morning time between 645 and 715 when we release kids to classes. That 30 minute window with multiple people should be able to handle everything. And we need somebody to be able to cut out all the hearts, to have the tape ready, to get the paper bags, to have the bags ready. Um, and then I can take care of class rosters um, as well as generic school rosters for everybody or for those tables. And then the only other thing to do is to count, uh, is to put the money in the bag, and then you will give that to Miss McCrary. She's not here today, and she wasn't here yesterday. She's sick, so she may have some more things that she might need from us for that. But I've already done the fundraiser form; it's already approved, so we're good to go to do it if we want to do it. A lot of this paperwork says 50 cents, but it's just a quarter uh, because we're not trying to make a bunch of money off of it. We're trying to give kids opportunities to send nice things to one another, but that money goes right back into student incentives. So I believe that's what I put on the student order form uh, or the fundraiser form, excuse me, but that's what we have going on. So we need people from 645 to 715. Um, and we only collect them three days. That's February 9th, 12th, and 13th. So that's what we're looking at, February 9th, 12th, and 13th. And then um, some of you on here have different responsibilities around the building. So some of you can be here in the morning time and some of you cannot because you only work part-time or you have some things going on where you're not gonna be present during that time frame but maybe you can help do the prep work on the front end. So that's really the gist of everything. It's a quarter um, and a quarter a gram. The biggest frustration that I can anticipate will be that students won't know who what the names of their friends are and they may not know their uh, grade. So I can do a lot of previewing that on the announcements. I can show what one looks like. I can show what they need for that information. I can send an informative video like this to um, the families on Dojo so that they know what that looks like and what their child needs. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you have questions, please do not hesitate to hit reply all when I send this video out. And if you're in, just reply back in. And then I'm going to let you guys 
sort, organize, and prepare all of that because the fundraiser is ready to go. Um, and then, of course, we can cut our own die cuts or our own hearts. And we've got plenty of tape around the building. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I have the paper sacks. I'll check on that for us, okay? That's it, guys. So, please consider this and think if it's something that we can uh, do. And then I'll send you the email.